Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about the concept of stability. So, uh, just like a sumo match, uh, you can see the one on the left will win the match mainly because of two things. Okay, firstly, the concept of inertia, which is uh, having more mass. And the second reason we're going to talk about today, of course, is stability. Okay, so let's go straight into it. Okay, before we talk about stability, we need to know this concept of center of gravity, also known as CG for short. I'm sure you've heard of this term before. But uh, okay, so let's say we have an object here, okay, of this particular weight. So we draw this uh, red arrow down. Um, and if we go on to say, well, we have another object next to it uh, with this arrow down and so on, okay? But uh, if we were to repeat it for, let's say, a long bar, okay? So basically, every part of a long bar actually exerts a small weight. Um, we can have this concept of resultant force, right? Okay, so we can actually replace this whole thing with... You are right, one particular force, and that force will be right in the center, and that point is known as the center of gravity. So, what is the definition of center of gravity? So, center of gravity is basically just the point at which the entire weight of an object appears to act, okay? All right, so um, now similar to a sumo match, what we have here is an MMA match where you see one opponent taking down the other. Okay, so how does he actually take him down? Okay, so let's break it down. Okay, so uh, as he takes it down, okay, firstly, he gets into position. After that, he lifts up one leg and puts him down, right? So uh, if we were to uh, use the concept of center of gravity, so center of gravity over here, uh, we will draw the center of gravity for each of them, okay, for each of the opponent that's being taken down. And I want to introduce you to this concept of a base area right now. So what is base area? Okay, base area is simply just the total base area from the extreme ends of his feet that is in contact with the base or on the ground, okay? So as you can see, um, as he pulls up his feet, the base area actually gets smaller because now his left feet is actually up. And this one is actually also okay up, right? So the base area will get smaller. But what's the difference now? You can see this um, center of gravity, the weight through the center of gravity actually falls within the base area. This also just at the base area. But right now, since it falls outside the base area, it creates a sort of a clockwise moment causing him to fall, right? So... Uh, so called wife woman topples man, and uh, so this actually uh, comes to the concept of stable equilibrium and unstable equilibrium over here. And at this point, we know we call it just about to topple. So it is a point of transition from stable to unstable equilibrium. Okay, so um, the next one, so just to break it down, so what a stable equilibrium means, so stable equilibrium just basically means if you have a weight through the center of gravity, and if I were to lift it up slightly, okay, uh, you, you will see that there is a pivot here at this point, because this point doesn't move, it just rotates about this point, and it causes a uh, distance D, and yes, if you have force and distance, what do you get? Perpendicular distance, you get a anti-clockwise moment, and that actually topples it back, right? So that is stable. So stable simply means if you tilt it slightly, you will always go back to the original position. Okay, so the opposite will be unstable equilibrium. So unstable equilibrium, if you were to lift it up, same thing. You got a pivot here, which is the yellow triangle. Uh, you have a distance d, and what will happen? Clockwise, yes, you are right. You will cause a clockwise moment this time, and boom, it will actually just topple over. Okay, so there's actually a third type of equilibrium over here, which is a neutral equilibrium. So neutral equilibrium, what happens is that if you move anywhere, it will just stay where it is. Okay, so breaking down the stable... Uh, unstable and neutral equilibrium. Uh, you can see over here the for stable equilibrium, my center of gravity as I move it, it actually shifts a bit up. Um, what about for unstable? So the CG rises. Uh, the unstable equilibrium. You want to compare originally was at this point, so you can see it starts to go down again. So the CG actually falls. The CG is actually on the same part of the uh, object, but uh, it 
due to the nature, the position of the object, it actually causes it to shift the position down a little bit. What about for neutral equilibrium? You can see for neutral equilibrium, it actually maintains at the same position, right? Okay. Um, so this is just a summary. CG rises, CG falls, and CG remains. So what is stability? Stability is basically just the ability of an object to return to its original position after being tilted slightly. And there are two main factors that increases the stability, which is the center of gravity needs to be kept as low as possible. And the second one is the base area must be as wide as possible. So just like the MMA fighter, if his legs are both legs on the ground, he will have maximum base area, especially that's why he wants to also squat down like the sumo wrestler, right? So uh, that's it for stable, unstable neutral equilibrium. So uh, final uh, recap, you can see if I were to shift, so this is calling it to display slightly. What will happen? It will just go down. So it will go back to the original position for stable equilibrium. Unstable equilibrium, it will cause it to topple and neutral equilibrium, it will just stay there. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon.